Good morning, everyone. So good. So we will talk a few minutes about open source software and how a company like IBM is approaching open source and how we have actually done it for many years. So really, my message to you and uh, throughout my talk is going to be, you know, all companies can take great advantage of open source software. And uh, we have a methodology, of course. And how we had actually adopt that into the open networking space. So let me take you through you know, my history, in a way, of what IBM is doing. So until you know, a few years ago, it was said that you know, open source was going to eat software with increasing number of participants, increasing number of uh, contribution, encouragement. Uh, every, you know, some people are gaining competitive advantage, and new companies being born by that in that area, right? Within IBM, we have a long history of working with open source software. In fact, you know, one of the promoters of Linux, working with Linux Foundation later on, working with Apache, Spark, you, know, you name it across these 20 years, key technologies have been influenced by what we have been doing uh, in this area. Latest uh, you know, announcements has been on Hyperledger. We work within Arabian Research, develop new technology. Uh, we knew that, it, that in order to work, it needed to be much broader than just IBM. Therefore, we work with Linux Foundation in a number of other companies to put uh, Hyperledger uh, into, uh, into open source. And today, we're having a new, whole new business models around uh, blockchain. And of course, you know, my role is bringing open networking uh, into the company and working that as part of our strategy. So how do we approach that? And you may want to uh, go to our website, uh, Developers Works. We have a white paper on how we approach open source software on the development. So it's not just something that a few technical teams are doing. It's really coming from a strategy standpoint. We have a discipline of doing that, and that's what I will take you through it. So first of all, we earn our stripes. You know, we do contribute. We fix bugs. Uh, and not me, my, our technical teams, of course. Uh, we build expertise. As, as one of my colleagues said, we do some of the dirty work uh, before we get known into each one of these areas. But we also, we foster communities, we open new communities, and we continue to evolve you know, the industry in these 20 years in these different key software strategies in the benefit of our clients. Now, this is for, you know, we represent many different industries, whether it is government, banking, insurance, now telecom, uh, the, the, the most recent, they all want to take benefit of that open source is a software uh, you know, dynamic that is going on uh, in the market. So we have actually trademark something that we call IBM uh, is open by design. And really, there are three methodologies that we can go here. One is open source only, and that will require a lot of assembly, right? A lot of system integration, a lot of you know, programmers trying to take this, the, the open source software and make it relevant and useful to your uh, organizations. The second area will be you know, go all proprietary. In some cases, it makes sense. You know? uh, it, we in, in, in fact, we do use some of that you know, proprietary software within our enterprise. And in some cases, it makes sense to do that. But that, obviously, it brings the, the, the vendor lock-in that, uh, that most of us want to avoid. The third approach, which is the approach that we are promoting, is partnering. Partnering with the community, partnering with our clients, partnering with other vendors, sometimes our competitors. So in fact, we do have a lot of partnership with Microsoft, with Google, uh, in bringing really that enterprise innovation by using open source. So that really engages you know, many people and takes the benefit of working you know, in the community like this one. So open source by design is something that we created, it's something that it is from, from our top of the company is being monitored and encouraged uh, as well as part of. And in fact, our CEO has gone one step further. She has said, 
every business unit, no matter what business unit you are, need to have an open source strategy. So no longer the gross proprietary is, is, is good within our own business. Now, in order to achieve this, open governance must be paramount in these areas. And we like, you know, have you know, in, in that white paper that I mentioned, responsible licensing, IP, uh, you know, licensing agreements, you know, accessible uh, commit processes, open governance, that we believe that as, you know, we have a series of methodologies and we have learned throughout these 20 years on what are the key issues that we should be addressing uh, in order to make that open source uh, successful. Um, obviously, we also contribute to uh, GitHub, and that's where our technical teams put much of their uh, technologies. We have an open technology uh, team that makes sure that every, all of those contributions are um, in line to our strategy, in line to our IP, and, and we can bring that uh, into the market through the, uh, to the uh, communities. So GitHub, very much, we are the main contributors and putting our software uh, there. But let me take you to what is relevant to this audience. Applying that, that open source uh, software strategy into open networking. So we began 2014 becoming uh, founding um, sponsors of uh, OPNFE. We went further uh, a couple of years later and joined ONAP as, again as a founding member. And now we are obviously working with the Linux Foundation in LF Networking for which I am a board. What we have done with the software now, which I think is more relevant to what you are doing. First of all, ONAP deploy on IBM Cloud Private. Now, this is where now we bring the business perspective and we ensure that open source software is relevant to our business. So every time we sell an ONAP license, we be carrying you know, an IBM Cloud Private, which is nothing more than an industrialized version of Kubernetes with more privacy in more AI and, and, and machine learning applications embedded within that platform. So bringing that benefit to our clients along with that secu uh, no, security that I mentioned before. So this is where now we're starting to make real that open source software becoming a business for us. The second area is, and this should read, IBM services for ONAP. We provide programming services, that means DevOps capabilities that can take that open source software and make it much more uh, is stronger and relevant to your organization. Integration services, deployment, testing, all of that goes into that particular uh, services. And finally, we rank fifth, as you may have seen uh, in the slide yesterday, rank fifth in contributions uh, into the ONAP software. So probably something that you did now, that that was coming from IBM, those are kind of very concrete steps that we are taking along many others that are, uh, that are not uh, here. But uh, I think the key message is how we're applying this, how do we apply to our clients and, and really transforming them uh, on how they do their digital customer engagement, how they transform the backend processes, and how they build new platforms and services with this new uh, cloudified network that everyone is, is, is dreaming about, right? Whether it is the core network or the edge network, that is all going to be in the cloud. And again, IBM will have a role uh, to play uh, in that area and building those platforms that allows you know, our clients, the operators, to monetize their investments uh, as well as their ongoing research. Finally, I'd like to finish with some of the key points that, again, perhaps, as RP said before, not known how IBM is working in the industry, working with over 80% of the operators across the world. In many countries, four operators are our clients. Uh, IBMers, uh, just like myself, leading a strategy. IBMers leading technology, product development, services. You know, more than 25,000 people working with operators in key media companies around the world. Um, I want to mention 20, um, 25 years of leading IP in, in patent production. So you can see now that, bring it all together, no, open source has not make any impediments for us to continue contribute in that IP and patent uh, you know, production. And obviously, we are bringing into this environment 
our 60 uh, clouds that we have around the world, you know, taking consideration to privacy as, as well as uh, compliance uh, and regulations in order to bring that edge of the cloud uh, in, in capabilities in order to realize that, that 5G network. So um, I hope you now kind of change your perception, and, but you know, key message is open source software will not destroy the IT industry. On the contrary, it's going to change the industry and make it you know, in, in a much uh, uh, better way. And really, it's for us here to collaborate in making that uh, reality. So I invite you to, to learn more about what IBM is doing uh, in terms of open source practices. Many times we consult with our customers about our practices and how we have been able to leverage that and really build businesses around it. And I also uh, no, it, it, no, encourage you to learn more about what IBM is doing in terms of um, uh, I don't know, telecom and media and how we are bringing that value together uh, for our operators uh, across the world. So with that, uh, I'd like to thank you uh, for your attention. And I hope you got a little bit more knowledge now on how to do that. Thank you so much.